Okay guys, Sunday the 8th of October and we are on Australian dollar, US dollar. So let's have a quick recap of this market from last week in relation to our Sunday analysis and then we'll have a look at the market for the trading week ahead. Okay, so last week we were still looking at this larger double top on the daily time frame. We made the move back up. We started to break down. And then coming into the start last week, we were just sitting at these levels. And what we went over was that although the market was looking bearish now that we have rejected up here, and we were coming down for this potential double top, this level was still worth watching as key support. Now coming into Monday, you can see Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we had nice bullish bounces off of this level. And then it's only coming into Thursday and Friday that we had that strong move down. And as we had that move down, as we went over, if we start to break down below these levels, we could expect a further strong bullish movement. Actually started up here, we had the crash all the way down, came into these lows, and then we came off another 70 points on Australian dollar. So coming into next week, what are we looking at? Well, if you have been watching these videos for any length of time, as we started to break up right here. So we identified a strong ascending triangle, which I will show you in a minute. As we started to break up from these levels right here, what I started going over was that pullbacks toward 7750 and lower would be toward key levels of support and potentially the level for bullish continuation on this market. So if we just jump onto the weekly time frame quickly, just let it load. Okay, so the ascending triangle we had sitting at these levels, and then we had this key level of resistance where the market was bouncing off of. You can see the market creating these higher lows, rejecting at the same level of resistance, and then we got this strong breakout. And what we are seeing now is a pullback. So, if this market is going to continue on its bullish run, this is a very strong level of support. It's basically breaking a key level of resistance, which has been tested multiple times on the weekly time frame. Resistance, when broken, um, often becomes support. We are now pulling back into these levels. Comes a very good area to watch for bullish continuation. And really, um, if we start to see the market holding at these levels, there's the potential for Australian dollar to be coming all the way up to 8,500 toward 8,800 at a minimum. Certainly if we start to see the strong bullish um, reactions at this level and then we start to break above these previous highs, it's very likely we will then, on the longer term, I'm not, I'm not saying this is going to happen you know, next week, I'm talking about longer term now in this market, very likely it will come up into these levels at 8,500 to 8,800. Okay, so let's just clear this off of the screen. Jump back down into the daily time frame, And we'll have a look at these key levels for next week. Now, coming into next week, I just wanna zoom out just a little bit. It's really looking at previous swings. These are the levels that created that key level of resistance. And then if we just scoot back, it's exactly what I'm talking about. So when I say resistance, when broken, often becomes support. This is the market testing as support. And then it breaks. When support breaks, quite often it becomes resistance. The market presses back up, retests at these levels. We see the seller stepping in multiple times. And then we break above. So now that we're pulling back down to these levels, they are very important moving forward. Now we have a lot of very choppy price action down here because we were testing so many times. So what we're gonna do with these support levels is we are going to go over these areas and there's gonna be quite a few of them moving down. Now you can see, first of all, we've already had a reaction. Now one of the ways, one of the simple ways to find levels of support and resistance, strong levels of support and resistance is to look for something like this. It's a candle which has a very long tail on it and it's spiking up into a previous 
strong move of price action. So we had a strong bearish movement here. The next day, we spiked up very strongly, and then we rejected very strongly also. And it rejected almost exactly at the close and the open of these two candles. It's giving you a little bit of a clue that this is a an important level for both buyers and sellers. So the buyers have ramped it all the way up. They've given up at these levels, and the sellers have stepped back in and caused the market to sell off by almost 600 points. So it's giving you that little clue that this is a good level of support and resistance. And then if you start to scroll forward, you can see if you've just taken this level here, as we move forward, we can see it almost being tested here. Being tested here, once again, we get a stronger sell-off here. Another little thing to be looking at as you see this sell-off is that although we sold off again from these key levels, it's now making a higher low. It's one of the ways to identify potential ascending triangles. Just get rid of this. So moving forward, again, this is a key level. Now for me, I'm just moving this up ever so slightly into these key levels here, including this spike up. Then we want to bring this down. We want to include really the closes, the opens here, closes the opens here, the spikes up one, two, and three, almost at the same levels. This is first good level of support. And what you can actually see is the market has been hovering at those levels, and then we dropped down on the Friday, and this was a key level. Now, if we scroll back along, then we start to come down further. Now, obviously, if you take this as um, a portion of the market that you're looking at for giving evidence, because this is where we've tested as support before it became resistance. So really, all the way down toward these lows remains key support now. I want to zoom in a little bit. Just look at this price action. We're just looking for further levels. We've seen multiple reactions. And what you're going to find is because this is such a strong level on the weekly time frame, we're going to have lots very bunched up. So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of these lower ones here. What we're doing is we're scrolling right. We're looking to see these reactions. And what you can see as we move along, you see the candles failing at these levels. You can see as we come up, we're spiking up, failing at these levels. Spike up here, spikes up here. Although this market press is higher, if you look at this in terms of the first wave up here, we see the rejection coming in at this level. Then we break up. Then we come back down again. And then we're coming up again to test this level. Testing, 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 and failing. We come up, we test, we test. We then break up to test level above. Move along, testing at these levels. Lots of clues here. This is another good level of potential support. If we come all the way forward, what do we see right here? Swing point before we break up, coming into these levels. Now, coming into next week, we also have that MA200 on the daily time frame in these levels. So really, this whole section down here, for me, is going to be key support. Even if we start to break down further, as I've mentioned I'm still going to be looking for those potential bullish reactions. Just looking at this little bit of price action right here, the swing point, break up, we come down, we test it as support. We've tested it once, twice before we break down. And then the center of these bouncing sideways ranging price action sitting right in this level. Lots of levels of support. Well, well worthwhile watching because it has acted as resistance for so long. I mean, really, it's been reacting as resistance since March of 2016. We've now broken up above, and it is key support. Now, if we do start to see the market breaking up, what we're going to have is very likely a level of resistance relatively close by. Now, the potential is here for us to see some ranging price action. If we do start to bounce, there's a potential here to see resistance and then support again and then resistance and then support again. The reason for this is because we have the double top. We have broken or we've started to break down below this double top. 
When you break down from a double top, very often that central pivot point becomes key resistance. So I'm happy to look for potential sells here. Down below for me, it's all buys at these levels. They're very, very important moving forward. Next level of support is up toward 7,870 and up into really 7,900. And then if we start to break above this level, so again, key level of resistance, happy to look for potential um, selling opportunities from here. I would look at these now as potentially counter trend. I'd be being a little bit more careful, a little bit um, or happier to get out of trades a little bit sooner if I start to see rejection coming against them just because we are down into these key levels. And then if we start to break up above these levels, really, I would expect the market to come up and retest previous highs. And then there's a the potential there, as I've mentioned, longer term for that very strong move up on Australian dollar, US dollar. This is where we're going to find out if the break of this ascending triangle is going to hold or if it's going to fail. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to look for support at these key levels. If they start to fail, it's potentially the sign that, that that ascending triangle is failing. If it begins to hold, we're going to watch up toward this double top at this central pivot point for early warning signs that the bears are still in control. If they start to fail, it's very likely we're going to see a strong rally on this market. Okay, guys, so that's everything for this week. It's also my thoughts slightly longer term on Australian dollar, US dollar. As always, I hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a good trading week next week. I'm James Orr, and thank you.